Okay, so I'm very happy with what you put in the glossaries. It's like, you know, a complete uh, list of all okay, the HTML tags available. I do not require you to memorize all of these um, tags, but uh, it's good to know them. So that later on, when you okay, uh, post in forums, and if you need to make your post look better, if you need to embed music forms into the forum post, you know what to do. Okay. Um, so if you have time, please browse through the list of um, HTML tags that your friends have put in there. There are a lot of good steps here. Um, I can see only okay, one person okay, working inside this forum. So, okay, uh, after okay, these sessions, I expect okay, more posts from other people. Um, basically, in this forum, I try to um, give you the chance to practice okay, um, HTML tags. Well, um, Let me lower the security so that you um, Site policy. Okay. If you want to use HTML, this is what you have to do. You need to click on um, Edit HTML Source, and then delete all of this. So it will be like this. Let's see how you go. See there? It works. So you need to turn on HTML. If you simply type there, it understands what you type at text, not HTML. Right. So after okay, the lesson today, um, try to embed okay, MP3 files, music, videos, and okay, all the other stuff into the forum. And without knowing about HTMLs, you will never be able to do these things. See that? Now, it's in the center. And um, the audio tag, I think. 
you just have the same problem. Let's say uh, I want to embed a song into this form. Uh, let's see how it's go. Yes, it's here. This allows us to embed and let me try to uh, do this audio okay. I just delete everything here and paste the embed code. Oh, it works. See, now um, you have successfully uh, put the music file into the forum post okay, by using HTML tags. Right, um, so that's it at home. Uh, do some more practice. Try to use okay, sophisticated HTML tags to decorate your posts, embed videos, music, games online, anything that allows you to embed and, and try okay, to see how it works. Um, in the session today, we go on practicing a few more uh, HTML codes, put everything together in okay, an HTML site, upload it as one of our hands on, and after the break, I think we can move on using Dreamweaver to build a you know, professional website.
Okay, so last time we was here, right? <clears throat> now, I want you to okay, do this again, just to refresh what we have done. Now, so open Notepad and try to do this again. Okay, see how well you can make it. Yeah, so open Notepad and do something that it, the fonts may not be exactly the same, but I expect you to be able to put in the color, the text, the image, format, do, you know, basic formatting of the text. so noisy.
Does it work on the page? chín tháng năm hả chị nghe em, em nhớ là không có gì nhưng mà thôi để em sẽ gửi tin nhắn lại cho chị thì chắc là em sẽ đi lên book ấy ngày chín tháng năm ha em gửi tin nhắn liền vâng em hiểu rồi thêm cái nguồn tài nguyên các công cụ để họ nâng cao cái khả năng tiếng Anh của họ
Are you on then? Please show me your page. Good. Good. Okay. Please show me your page. Okay, not ready yet. to use the color code. Right. Let me um, show you the code. Yeah, this is the code. Um, now, the, the background color is yellow, but in web design, this is a very frequent problem. Um, when you design, let's say, this is the color of the logo. Okay. And you need um, the colors of the text or the colors of the okay, background to be exactly this color. If you simply type blue, it will be a different blue. You, you see what I mean? So the blue that you use in HTML code will be different from this blue. Or, okay, this is another example. Um, 
What I need to design a sub page on this website. I want to make sure that um, the text color is exactly this color. So how do you find this color? It's not yellow, it's not brown. Yeah, how do you okay, decorate okay, the text colors in your HTML page to be this one, exactly this one? Screenshot. All right. So you know how to use Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. So you can do pull a pick pick up from, from Photoshop, right? But the, the thing here is, okay, on on the website, we need to use code. You cannot do that in Photoshop. You can use it, um, color picker in in Photoshop with images, not with text, and not with background on the web page. I want you to use that color in the banner, so that. You see, when I designed a banner, I need to use this color so that you know it matches uh, the, 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 the color of the text. Um, so you can type in HTML color. Okay, it's more important to remember the keyword. But if you uh, need to go straight away to the website that I'm using, then you can do this URL. Um, sorry, it's too big. Yeah, color code info on simply type in HTML color and find. Okay, the, Okay, a page for yourself. I'm sure that there are a lot of pages out there that allow you to do the same. Now, um, so when I want a color, I just let's say I want to look something yellow, so I just pull down the selector to yellow down here, and then I select any color. See that? And each time I select an area, you see a color code with six. Um, okay. Um, Hex uh, decimal numbers. Okay, I mean it use okay the okay hex system one two three to ten and then A B C D E F. So uh, white color is six zero and black color is six F maximum value. Minimum value is white. Maximum value is black, and these are in the between. So in total, theoretically, we have sixty-five thousand and something okay, different color that we can use to decorate our page. Now, um, so let's go back to the notepad. So instead of using okay, uh, BG color yellow, you can simply put um, that sign and then the color code. So let's say okay, the letter sign say and you see, I have trained the color. 
let's say I want this color again. I choose the color again. Uh, I, this time I want to be uh, this blue or this green. Okay, this kind of green. So it is 3, 3, C, 4, 2, O. Oh. So 3, 3, C, 4, 2, O. Oh. Copy. And let's say. Now, if we refresh, yeah, that is exactly the color code that I want. Okay? So, instead of using the color names, because with color names you have very limited choices. There are about only 20 names that you can use. But if you use color code, there are 65,000 different colors that you can select from. Okay. So, what do I say? We have just learned to use color code instead of color name. So you can, you can train this value. Let's say one 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 one. Okay. Uh, I, I I I just try different code to see what color you can get. Show you soon. We use a different tool to find the color and code. Mm? Yeah, yeah. You can be the patience, but it can be very time-consuming, and, and you need to test. It's hard and it's taking lots of time. Actually, it's, it must be there. Okay, the color code must be somewhere. But we use a different way. How to use color code now? The thing is, the important point is to know that each color comes with a code, okay. and uh, later on, when you uh, build videos, you need to okay, put in titles, animations, and and you need to do a lot of other different things, and uh, then. Okay, your understanding about color code gonna help a lot. Um, I hope I can show you an example here. Now this is an example of using okay, the idea. Now, okay, this is a clip where I'm teaching an online course, okay, English exam preparations. So you see, okay, I'm talking, okay, uh, naturally, but actually, I'm looking at a screen, and the scripts that I use, okay, are the cues for me, is appearing here, on this side. So it's PowerPoint file, 
and, uh, and, and, and the text that I see will be on this side. So when you open the PowerPoint file, it will be like this. You see? So uh, I stay here and do this, you know, cue, so do this text to talk. It, you know, it helps me, you know, to be able to, you know, uh, talk a lot without looking down, um, without, you know, having to memorize things. Now, so when we okay, rent a movie or when we build okay, uh, movies, we need to put okay, an image okay, on this text. And that, the color of that image needs to be exactly the same with this color. You see the point? There are a lot of other situations in which you need to know the color code okay, uh, to design. Right, so... Um, so actually, the cue is here. And it, it looks like, okay, I'm trying to memorize, I'm trying to read from okay, uh, my mind. Right, so coming back, I hope that you have got the ideas okay, of using color code. Now, we come to the okay, original problem that I raised in the beginning. Now, we need to, okay, we know that a color has a code. How do we get the code of the color? Let's say, how do you get the code of this color? How do you get the code of the green banner? Okay. If you know how to use uh, Photoshop, you can take a screenshot and then use Color Picker to uh, find out a color code. That's a good way, but it does not return okay, the exact value of the color. Okay, why? Because it is processed okay, via the screenshot already. The screenshot may not return okay, the exact color. So basically, we need a tool that help us to know the color. And that tool is called Color Picker. Now you can use this online Color Picker. Mm. Oh yes, this one looks good. There are a lot of free color picker there for you to use. Mm. Oh, I love this. It's free. It's easy to use. Still not that.
Okay, I will share my favorite color picker over here. And you can choose okay, a lot okay, of different colors out there, but possibly this is the best one. No, not sure, but this is my favorite. I use this a lot. So go to wb1.coin.net, click on that link, and you will be able to download uh, this color picker. Yeah, very slim, like this. And then, if I want to know the color, let's say the color code on this screen, I will just click on pick color here, and then you see, oh, it show me the color. Show me the color. Show me the color here. Whoop. And then this is the color. Four four a nine o three. Okay. And if you want to see the color of the text, this one is six c c six six o o. Okay. So go to wb one dot point dot net. Download this tool and okay design the code are the different colors as you see on the website. Uh, that's one is better. Well, alternatively, you can use a lot of different other tools, but okay, the one that I have just used is this one. It's very small, very tiny, but it gives us exactly uh, what we need. Okay, then open the pay. Now, which color do you want to get? Yep, just wait for find.net. Okay. Yep, now pick color, select pick color. Alright, yeah. Which color? No, that color, that color. Click. You see, FF9923. That's the color. Yeah, so what is the color of that? Click.
Halo. Bang. Bang, jantul. Bang, bang. Dạ. Bang. Có gì vậy? làm như vậy nó 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 sẽ khó, khó ở chỗ như này anh đức tức là ví dụ như anh anh quay các thứ ở chỗ đó xong rồi anh ngồi anh biên tập anh biết biên tập một cái phim á nhiều khi cái quay là nửa tiếng anh biên tập hết một tiếng anh, anh ngồi đó rồi nó cái cái thời gian nó rất là kẹt đấy thì nếu mà được ấy thì thì ví dụ như như đơn vị đã có nhu cầu ấy, thì thì em nghĩ là cấp cho cho cái đơn vị đấy ở văn phòng khoa hay là những cái cái phòng làm việc ở khoa mà người ta có thể ngồi được cả ngày mà người ta không có phụ thuộc vào chuyện mở cửa cái thứ đó À, thì thì cái một hai cái 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 máy thì thì là nó nó sẽ linh hoạt hơn thì em cho nhỉ Không, nói chung là lép ngoại ngữ bây giờ em thấy quan trọng nhất là mình đầu tư vào cái web tốt thôi chứ còn phần mềm thì 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 đối với lại chuyên ngữ thì thì chưa có cần cái 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 phần mềm nào cụ thể cả anh ạ đấy nhưng mà sắp tới thì phục vụ cái chuyện thứ nhất là mình sản xuất học liệu này cái thứ hai nữa là internet của trường mình phải tốt server về ngon lành này đấy phòng máy thì máy nó tốt nó không bị hỏng để tổ chức thi cử các thứ này nó ổn định tai nghe ok vậy thôi à còn cấu hình máy thì cũng cũng tất nhiên là dùng được nhiều đức tính năng thì 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 thì, thì mình ấy và đấy và
Dạ vâng rồi, cảm ơn anh. Dạ vâng rồi, dạ. Vâng rồi rồi để em em thấy nó mở ra mấy cái cẩm nang thứ để em xem cái những cái gì nào dùng tốt thì em em đề xuất. Dạ vâng vâng rồi rồi, dạ vâng. Okay, so that's done with the uh, color, HTML color and color code. Now, let's create the last poem, and this time we'll put in music and videos, and then we put everything together as a website. Um, so, now you should be able to do this yourself, HTML, and then we close HTML. Uh, we have the hat. And we close the head, uh, body tag, and we close the body, and uh, yeah, uh, thang long, hoài cổ. Okay, so that's another poem. Tạo hóa, gây chi, cuộc hí trường, đến nay đã trải mấy. Tinh sương Lỗi xưa xe ngựa oh, I'm sorry Hồn thu thảo Nền cũ Lâu đài Bóng tịch dương Ở cả Put in the title And we close the title. Okay. Um, this should be heading one. And okay, we close heading one. Mm. Line break. Line break. Line break. Okay, so two break here, two break here, Say this is Thang Long dot HTML. And when I open the page, okay, it should be something like this. Well, it's too much, too big. So let's use heading two instead. this color okay. 
say. Not in your color. Now let's learn another um, HTML tag called marquee. Now the marquee will create a marquee effect. It um, allows the text to roll okay, across the screen. By default, it will be from right to left. Uh, it's going to be like this. Okay, so just add marquee to the title, and now you have it animated. Yep, so you know how to embed.
Okay, and uh, this is the script. Now, um, let's go to YouTube and find a video that is related to the poem. In this case, I have found okay, a recital of the poem. And I want to put this video okay, in the web page. Now, um, in order to do that, we use um, okay, a technology called Embed Content. Uh, into HTML pages. Um, so click on share and um, you will be able to see embed code. Now embed is <coughs> okay, a code that allows us to take contents from another website and put it into our site. We can use embed to put in videos, sounds, and uh, later on, if you want to make money online, a, a lot of other people okay, do it now. They build websites, <coughs> they attract a lot of users to the site, and then they put advertisements okay, on, on the website, like Google Ads. And then they get um, revenues from okay, the number of people who see the ads and the number of people who click on the ads. So a lot of journalists, a lot of writers in America make money by this and, and, and they can earn okay, a lot if they okay, can attract a lot of users. So they also use embed to embed Google SN code into their site or their page. Now, um, so we click on embed and you, you get the embed code. Just copy that code. Okay, I copy and uh, paste where you want the video to appear. Let's say I want the video to appear just below back here, think one. And I will use word grab. Now, so you see by default, this is the width and the height of the iframe coach. First embed, and this is the link up the movie. Border is um, zero, and this allows the user to click on the full screen. If you delete this, they will not be able to see it in full screen. 
um, if you want to train the weight and the height, you can train the value of these. Okay, so find a video in YouTube and paste the code there. So sometimes you open web pages that have background music. Do you know how they do that? Okay. Allow block content. This is this is what you get. The size, you know, too big. Okay, I want it to be smaller. So let's say this should be half, 210, and this should be half. One hundred sixty. Save and now. Okay, it's like this. Um, I should put a break line here. PR. Okay, so now it looks great. And then you click on that, you have the videos reciting the power of embedded. Okay, similarly, if you need to embed a song okay, to the poem, you know what to do, right? Go to an online music website that allows embed code. You copy the embed code. Time now for a break, so let's stop here.
Okay, and take a break until 10. And okay, after the break, we will put all the pages together okay, in a website. Building links. It's one, two, three. Three poems on three different pages. And uh, a folder called images. Okay. We will now create a home page in which we link all of these um, all of these poems together. So let's create a new file and again okay tie in the HTML code. Um, we start to feel a little bit bored with typing all these things now. So, um, I'm sorry. But this will be uh, the last HTML page in our training today. Um, the title going to be home. Title. Please select the favorite poem. One um, go cá mùa thu to um, uh, what is the second poem? Some luck, right? And three. Um, what is it? Thang Lam Hoi Go. We put this as heading three. Heading three. Right, and then uh, we also put PR here. I say two line breaks, so uh, two PR tags. Okay. Now, um, to put a link to the first poem, Go Camo Thu, right, we will use this tag. Anchor A for anchor and hyperlink reference. Anchor hyperlink reference equal to now we type in the link which is the name of the file because they are in the same folder. So go gamma tool.html. That's what it shows on my on my folder. So go gamma tool dot HTML. Okay, and I end the anchor tag right here. Save, and I will say own file this time. I will put it in index.html. Save, and I go to the folder. Okay. I will show it again. Right, so to create link, let's say this again. We put anchor, hyperlink reference, and then the address. Now, uh, this is called Relative link. I will discuss this again later. Relative link. Okay, I will try to increase the font size for you. Okay, 
frequency theta. Now the file name must be exactly the file name that you say on your computer. Okay, on my computer is it gocamutu.html, but I'm not sure okay, whether you uh, name your file like that. Okay. I will also put link on the other team. 
số đại viên là chuyển khác hoặc họ đến đây họ học giờ cái cái cách chúng ta sử dụng phòng máy còn cái cách học họ tài khoản alo em lên phòng g hai là bốn cái 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 phòng g cái khoa sinh đấy ừ em em dẫn mọi người vào học g hai là bốn ở gần đấy mà phòng đó
using the index file. So when I type in like dnexpress.net, actually what the computer does is it goes to the server, look into the folder containing the files, and it finds the index page. Okay, this one. Right? So you do not need to find dnexpress.net slash index dot um,
absolute link are okay, the full link with www.something and absolute link are never broken because it never changes okay and uh, let's try to put an absolute link there okay so click here for more power and I put two library into the code and uh, I link reference equal to um, now this time uh, we're gonna find an absolute link like this one uh, this one Okay, so this time we're going to put an absolute link into the page by copying the link that I show on the screen. I put it there, copy, and uh, put that in the anchor tag. All right. So now we have put an absolute link into our file. Um, if you go to the page, say you can go to the page. Right. So click here.
So we have um, learned the basic HTML tags. We have learned how we can uh, work with color. We learned to get the different color codes. Uh, you see color picker or you see uh, online tools. We also um, learn to create some simple effects on uh, our web page. Now, um, it's time to go back to our Ebony system and finish our hands-on work. So, please zip all of these files. So, select all of the files and upload to our hands-on activity. So, Go back to the mobile learning system and scroll down to um, hands on 3.
my cat. Yeah. So click on that, and submit files, and you should be able to uh, submit your code to the project. Okay, now it's time to practice what you have learned. I want everybody to go to the HTML forum, make a post, and in that post, use the HTML tag, the special tag, to embed content like sounds, videos, or okay, create effects and marquee effects. Okay. So, create a post, share it with the whole class, and in that post, I want you to decorate it. I want you to make it special uh, using the HTML tags. You can embed a video, a sound, uh, use my key effects, or uh, you can even insert a JavaScript.
this and what's in blue. Well, uh, one possible reason is that it is not like it is not a lamp. Uh, it is straight, but I need to try to see how it goes again. Marquee. the content in our web pages, we can add script from JavaScript, and a lot of JavaScript can be found okay, on the internet. It allows you to add a lot of feedback. It allows you to, okay, uh, you know, decorate your mouse, your cursors. So sometimes when you okay, move the mouse across the page, like you see five okay, uh, going after the uh, mouse. Uh, you see butterfly going around your mouse. Okay, they are all created by adding a JavaScript. Now, this script, as you see on the screen, um, now you do not need to understand it. Okay, all you need to do is to understand is that this allows us to show the current date and time on our website when you design your project. And, um, Okay, I encourage you to okay, Google like JavaScript for HTML pages okay, to get more scripts. We only need to copy and paste into our page, and okay, um, it will work like this. So I go back to my let's say let's say I delete all of this. Okay. So this is what my HTML page looks like before I add a script, right? Now, I simply select everything, copy everything, and I'll go back here and paste. That's it. I save it to my home page, 
say, say. Now, when I go back to uh, the home page, uh, yeah, it shows the date and the time. And usually, to get this information at a portal on the page, we will go back to this again when we use Spring Weaver to be our web project. Um, so, I want you to try this before we start. Let me send you uh, the script. So, go to um, Dropbox. Let's go back to our whiteboard, wp1.net to download the file and let me return your screen. Okay, so click on that, download the, the JavaScript file, copy it, paste it into your HTML page. See how it works.
idea of this in my box and uh, my song is how I think they cannot run anything else. So open the file with uh, the same internet store on the Chrome. Okay guys, does it work for me? Uh, if you cannot get the file, I will try to send it from my computer here. Uh, Okay, so the file is now on the desktop. Okay? If you cannot download it, it should be on the desktop. Yeah, all the computers here are frozen, so when you restart, you return to the initial state. Okay, um, this is now time for us to wrap up. So, save all of your files 
and uh, you can keep going with these activities at home. If you have not finished uploading your HTML project yet, please uh, do that to hands on number three. Now, um, I see that most of you have already done the uh, reflection. Okay. Um, but I just think about nearly 20 entries, and I can see only about 10 reflections in this activity. So about half our class haven't done it yet. So click on HTML coding reflections at home and okay, do that activity. I also want everybody to um, make a post in HTML forum in which you apply what you have learned about uh, HTML text to them. Search for the name in a niche of media and you allow it to uh, Yeah, it's so we can come again. Must be broken somehow. Oh, uh, you see the code is not here, you paste it on file. When I open it, I'm going to see it down on the screen. So, uh, let me copy it back here. Mm -hmm. You see, you must put the code in the wrong file. Yeah, paste it here. And I say,
possibly another problem is that I am the illustrator and I have more, you know, power. Uh, and, you know, I have complete choice in the system and you have less power. And then, uh, uh, get a code. Not right now, but that will be uh, part of the hands on of the tree. Okay, any other questions before we uh, stop? Yeah. I don't care about the future. 